Hello and welcome back to the Joe Show. Morning, Joe. Also, Joe with cornflakes. I already finished my bowl for today. It is May 8th. No, it's May 11th. Don't even know what day it is. Uh, this is the show where I wake up in the morning, I have a bowl of cornflakes, enjoy some coffee, and go over an article. And uh, if you like the show, please subscribe uh, or send me to a friend or, you know, whatever you feel like doing helps me out, of course. Uh, The article that I have today, let's jump right into it, is about, uh, well, we're in the middle of the coronavirus pandemic still, where there are lockdown measures all over the world trying to prevent the spread of this highly infectious disease, COVID-19. It's a respiratory illness, so it is spread it's pretty much airborne. When people cough or sneeze, uh, other people catch it in the air. Uh, also, if it lands on surfaces and you touch it and then you rub your eyes or your nose, you're getting this pandemic. So there's lockdown measures all over the world. We have people inside and they're not allowed to go out, which means that people can't socialize like they want to or like they're used to. Uh, and so there is a company um, called Puzzle Break. It's a, a, I believe it's an international um, company that runs escape rooms. They've got four U.S. locations and even a presence on the Royal Caribbean cruise ships, which is what makes them international. Um, Anyways, they in the past have been on the weekends doing something called the Grim Escape Challenge, where people could uh, get into a... I mean, it's pretty much a virtual escape room where you get into a room on like Zoom or Skype. Um, I'm not sure which technology they're using or if they just invented their own, but you get a team together on Zoom or Skype and then you have a host, which is from the uh, Puzzle Break company, uh, and then you play an escape room virtually with your colleagues or with your friends. Uh, I think this is a really, really cool idea. Uh one of the 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 things that escape rooms are were good for is team building. Um, and right now teams are all virtual and so it's hard to interact. Zoom calls are not fun. I mean, we've all, not we've all, but people who still have jobs and who do Zoom calls have been on a call where someone's been doing something weird that they shouldn't have been or that they normally wouldn't be doing in a meeting. Like, <laughs> like dude, uh, we can all hear you crunching that bowl of cereal in the meeting. Like, what are you doing? Mute yourself. Or like (laughs) someone's kid runs in from the side while they're trying to give a PowerPoint presentation and, uh, you know, the kid's naked. What's going on? Look at Bill's screen. Uh, All sorts of crazy things. But this is a great way to get the team together and do some sort of like team building exercise or even with your friends if you're bored on the weekend. Um, The one downside to this puzzle break uh, Zoom puzzle room is that it requires one of them to be the hosts. Um, So they might have trouble, I don't know, scaling it, I guess. Um, But they've had, it's been selling out since they started doing it. Uh, It's actually been selling so well that um, they had to rehire people that they had uh, put on on break because of the pandemic, which is really good news. Um, It does cost money. It looks like it's $35 per player, which is on the expensive side. But they currently have a discount down to $25. Now, I've actually never done an escape room myself. I, um, So even when I go on planes, I have to have the aisle seat because I'm afraid that I have to pee and I don't want to have to interrupt somebody multiple times on the plane flight just to get up and go to the bathroom because I feel like I have a small bladder or something or maybe I just hydrate a lot I drink a lot of water but I always feel like I have to pee often on planes so I always want an aisle seat so in this puzzle room where you're essentially locked in a room for an hour with friends I am deathly afraid of going in there and then you know pissing my pants (laughs) just like Joe what are you doing over there in the corner? <laughs> Guys, uh, I had to go and uh, there was no one else, no nowhere else to go. So I took this can that was used as a clue and now I just use it as the toilet. I'm sorry. I, I couldn't control it. I had to go. I drank too much water before. 
before this puzzle room. Uh, but this virtual puzzle room gives me the opportunity to uh, instead put up a pre-recorded image of myself on Zoom and then go use the toilet. In fact, I, I could put in a pre-recorded image of myself and go take a dump and then come back and then no one would know the difference. Uh, so I think this is a really, really cool idea. Uh, again, it's a, a company called Puzzle Break. I'll probably provide a link to the article and the company in the comment section or in the notes section in the info section. I don't know the, the YouTube lingo for it. Uh, I will include a link to it though in the description. That's what it was. The description. Uh, check it out. If you've got a team and you're looking for something to do or you have friends and you're looking for something to do, I think this is a really, really cool um, thing to do during the quarantine. Uh, it says that they can have uh, up to eight players, I think. Um, sounds very cool. I'm going to suggest it to my team as something that we could possibly do while we're waiting for more in-person activities to start up. Uh, the game again is called the uh, Grim, what is it? Grim, 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 Grim something inspired by the Brothers Grim fairy tale. Uh, Grim, the Grim Escape from Puzzle Break. So check it out. Uh, again, I'd appreciate it if you hit that like button, uh, if you enjoy my show and that is it for today.